guys. So I'm gonna get this book. So let's get this book. And we're gonna make a video about this. In three, two, one, let's go. Tra la la. Hi guys, my name is Game Max. Today we're gonna be reading The Adventures of Captain of the Not in the newspaper mode, but full color. But this is gonna be the first novel by Dave Kill. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Adventures of Captain and the Bat, full color. Tra la la la. The first epic novel by Dave Kill. There are chapters, but I'm not gonna be there. George and Harold. Meet George Beard and Harold Hodgins. George is right there on the left with the guy in the flat top. Harold is the one with the t shirt in the back. Remember that now? George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They had a lot in common. They lived next very much for each other and they were both in the same fourth grade class at Rome and over to the middle. The other girls were usually responsible for it. Never anything bad happen. Two girls and girls were usually responsible. But don't get the wrong idea about it. They were no way actually nice boys. They were, no matter what everyone else thought, they were Okay, maybe they weren't so sweet enough, but they were good enough for us. It's just that George and Harold had a little, little silly stress. A man around here, they were very stuck for the car to control. Sometimes they took me once. They got a car thing into big, big trouble. But were you the terrible son? I had to tell you this one. Chapter 2, Three House Comics and After a hard day of cracking jokes, going with friends, and causing a mess, people put in a little rush to the old tree house in George's backyard. Inside the tree house were, um, were, were two big old fluffy chairs, a table, a cardboard ground with some food, and a pot. Camera Kaiko would pick that those pins and stack of tape and stacks of paper. Then McGee deployed the secret of the one with McGee to put the boys. Secret of the one called elementary school was much too busy to keep, to keep an eye on the copies. So whenever Jordan Hill got a chance to um, look at the office and run up several hundred copies of their latest got their underpants. Adventures after school, they some homemade comics on the playground for 50 cents each. Chapter 3, The Adventures of Captain Underpants, written by George Green and Harold Hart. George Green Passion, by Harold Hart. The really cool Adventures of Captain Underpants. Run by George Beard, drawn by Harold Hodgins. It was a time of darkness, despite for planet Earth. Bad guys have taken over the streets, and all the superheroes in the world were to old for life. Hey, ha ha ha. Now on to a new and a blue, extra strength here. Sha la la. Look up in the bird, look up in the sky. It's a bird, it's a plea, it's an egg salad sandwich. No way, I'm Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants was flopped in a waist of speeding waistband. Mm. More powerful than boxer shorts. And be able to leave tall buildings without getting wet. Tra la la. Night and day, Captain Underpants watch over the city for fighting their truth. And fighting truth, justice. All. And all that is for patient and cotton. Meanwhile, at a nearby elementary school, earning the patient. It was a stinky, it was stinky, tough, surprise day at the cafe. Yuck! Everybody 
already hid so much, so they threw it away. Soon, the cafeteria food came up to life. Oh, you're in the incredible hall. And a monster ran out around the school, eating everything it said. Help! The incredible home just ate a 15 folding chair and the gym teacher. Oh no! Not the folding te chairs! This looks like a job for Captain Underpants! Tra la la! Captain Underpants shoot lots of underwear at the monster, but he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So Captain Underpants took off running. The incredible home chased him. Help! And chase them, and chase them. Finally, the incredible Hulk got too tired and thirsty. The chase got down. How about a drink of thirsty water? The boys. So the monster took a drink from the shiny white bowl. And suddenly, hooray for Captain Underpants! And so, the incredible Hulk got away and was never heard from again. Tra la la, the end. Don't miss out on next exciting adventure, Captain Underpants, and the attack of the talking toy. Coming to a playground in the treehouse. Treehouse Comics, Chapter 4. Mean old Mr. Crow. Do you see that old guy in, looking at the window up there? That's Mr. Crow, the principal. Now, Mr. Crow was the meanest, surgeous old principal on her in the whole history of Jerome Powerless Elementary School. He had a laugh and sing. He hated the sound of children playing at recess. In fact, he hated children all together. And guess who children Mr. Crow hated the most? If you get Jordan Hill, you're right. Mr. Crow hated Jordan Hill. He hated their pranks, their wit, their wives, and their cracks. He hated their silly attitude. They contained giggling and especially hated their awful Captain Underpants comic books. I'm gonna get those boys one day. Let's pick a flower one day. Then we'll see. No, here. That's it. We're gonna stop here at chapter five. One day, very, very soon. Alright, guys, so we're gonna read one more chapter. One day, very, very soon. Remember when I said George and Hill? Silly strikes got them into big trouble. Big, big trouble ones. Well, this is the story. And how this happened, and somehow, your friends and a little black man turned the principal into the coolest superhero of all time. It was the day of the football, the big football game. Between the Horwood knuckleheads and the survival of stink, stink bugs. Um, stung and the stink bugs. I'm sorry, I forgot. The bleachers was filled with fans. Gerald's Homewood Elementary. So you were at a big game, football game today. So then we're gonna switch to it. This character ran into the field and shook their pom poms over their heads. A black dust of their pom poms and settle all around them. Give me a K, shouted the cheerleaders. K, repeated the fans. Give me an N, shouted the cheerleaders. N, repeated the fans. Give me a, 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 a chew, sneezed the cheerleaders. A, a, a chew, repeated the fans. A chew, a chew, a chew. The cheerleaders sneeze and sneeze and sneeze some more. They couldn't stop sneezing. Hey, shouted a fan in the blue chair. Somebody sprinkled black pepper into the cheerleaders' pom poms. I wonder who did that? Asked another fan. The cheerleader scrambles off the field, sneezing and dripping. 
but look at Lucas as the marching band members took their places. But when they began to play, there you see streams of bubbles began blowing out of their instruments. Bubbles were everywhere, slip up and down the field. The marching band slip and slide, leaving behind a thick trail of wet bubbly foam. Hey, shouted a clown from in the, bleach, in the bleachers. Somebody poured bubble bath into those marching band instruments. I wonder who did that, asked another fan. Hold on, I need to do something. Okay, so where are we? Oh. Soon the football team took the field. And I'm going to the the ball up and up, up. Went the ball higher and higher. It went. The, ba the ball sealed into the cloud and kept right on until nobody could put it in anymore. Hey, said the fan in the bunker. Somebody filled the game ball with helium. I wanted to do that. That's not a game. But the missing hot ball didn't make any difference because at the moment the knuckleheads were rolling around the field, scratching and inching like crazy. Hey, shouted the coach. Somebody replaced our deep heating muscle rub with lotion with lotion with Mr. Brank's shoes, extra scratchy, itching cream. We wonder who did that, shouted fans in the bleachers. The afternoon went on much the same way, with people shouting everything from, Hey, somebody put sea monkeys in the lemonade to put, to, Hey, somebody glued all the bath into a shop. They put along most of the fans, the bleachers, gone up the left, up the left, the game, had for it, and everybody in the time school was miserable. The wrong war with elementary school. Board, fire, feet, smell, bad. Everybody that is except the two of you are watching in the shadow beneath the bleachers. Those were our best pranks yet. Black girl. Yep. Okay, check with George. They, they'll, they'll be hard to talk to that for sure. I sure hope we don't get busted for this. So, don't worry, said George. We are covered our tracks really well. There's no way we we'll get busted. And that's where we're going to leave it off. Alright guys, so this is going to be um, the end of the video. So, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gun Team. Like the video. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.